What's going on everybody, this is Brother Dwayne with another episode of the End Times Bible Intelligence Podcast. This video will be pushed out to YouTube as well. We got a lot to go over today, I'm going to try to go over pretty quickly and uh, you know, all praise and glory be to God. I am so, so excited about uh, just the truth that's being exposed in regards to this Mandela Effect. Uh, Many Christians, many believers are experiencing Mandela Effect. Uh, from changes to the Word of God to everyday trivial items and things that have changed right before our very eyes. And like many of you, you're looking at this J.C. Penny and something's wrong. It doesn't look right. That is not how we know J.C. Penny is spelled. And as many of uh, my subscribers know, the Lord has definitely blessed me with the ability to find and dig up the truth. Because, like I said in my very first video, the truth will be revealed. The Lord will make sure that the truth is always revealed. You cannot hide the truth. It will always expose itself and be revealed. So, all praises and glory be to God. I'm so thankful that I'm being used to, uh, you know, be able to bring out the truth. And uh, help a lot of believers that are are going through the shock and, and disbelief of this Mandela Effect lie. Uh, These changes are very real. Can't explain exactly what's happening here, but you know what? We can expose the truth, and that's what we're going to do. So, um, like in all videos, let's go ahead and start off with the word. Go ahead and get your Bibles out. And, again, our foundation chapter is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Again, if you want to know what's going on with this Mandela effect, what's really happening right now, Chapter 2 of 2 Thessalonians is key to help you understand exactly the hour and time that we're living in. The coming of the Lord Jesus Christ is at hand, and uh, this is a part of the plan. Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord is on the throne. He's in control, and, uh, you know, don't be disheartened. So, let's start. I'm going to go ahead and read just uh, starting from uh, the beginning. All right, so... Chapter 2. Now, brethren, concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering together to him, we ask you not to be soon shaken in mind or troubled, either by spirit or by word or by letter, as if from us, as though the day of Christ had come. Let no one deceive you by any means, for that day will not come unless the falling away comes first and the man of sin is revealed, the son of perdition. Who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he sits as God in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. And then I also want to go down to verse 9. The coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan, with all power, signs, and lying wonders, and with all unrighteous deception among those who perish, because they did not receive the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this reason, God will send them strong delusion that they should believe the lie, that they all may be condemned who did not believe the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. This is what's happening right now in regards to this Mandela effect. And the great evil behind it is that whether you see and notice the changes or not, it's designed to lead you astray. There's many believers on YouTube and that are uh, re- doing research that are being led astray into things of occultism and spiritualism and New Age philosophies and chakras and you know I'm you know seeing folks talk about you know uh, you know altered plane states and you know they're flying through the spirit realm and just some spooky stuff and so don't get caught up don't get led astray into the occult theology that uh, will try to lead you astray in these 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 dire times okay and then for those that don't see the changes that are just basically blinded by the truth for whatever the reason may be I fear that they may be more easily led astray into the new world order agenda and the coming of the Antichrist these are the people that have their mouth on you that talk about you that curse you that uh, you know death threats and all kind of crazy things that you know we're seeing 
uh, people getting really riled up in the body of Christ, um, it's 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 insane. So that being said, you know, I just uh, pray peace and blessings over your family, over your marriages, uh, over your heart. Um, I, I got to be honest, the other day, you know, I, I came home and it was overwhelming. This whole experience has been very overwhelming, especially when it comes to the Word of God. And I can't wait to delve into uh, aspects of the Word of God in the next coming days. Um, but the Lord has me going down this path for a reason uh, in the hopes that many that have backslidden or those that are agnostic or atheists may come back or come to the knowledge of Christ Jesus as their Lord and Savior. So let's drive on. Let's reveal the truth. All right. So like last time, we're going to go ahead and do some advanced Google searching, also known as Google hacks. And, um, you know, let's just do a real quick. Let's take a look here. Let's see what comes up when you type in oh, right there. JC Penny. And let's see what Wikipedia has to say about JC Penny. <laughs> All right. So as you see here, it's stating that it's JC Penny, P-E-N-N-E-Y. Okay. Right there. The JC Penny company doing business as JC Penny, JCP, and formerly as Penny's is a chain of American mid-range department stores based in Plano, Texas. All right. Well, let's go ahead and let's do some hacking. All right. So first thing we're going to do is put a quotation in. Now you have multiple ways you can go ahead and search for JCPenney. All right, I'm gonna show you a few uh, real quick. So you can do J dot C dot space P E N N Y end quote. You can do just straight J C P E N N Y end quote. Or you could do JC space P E N N Y. Play around with all those different combinations because you will get different results based on how you do it. And what we're doing by having our phrase in quotations is we're telling Google that we want to explicitly search for JC Penny in this certain way. Okay? Don't show me anything else but what I want you to show me. All right? So I'm going to do it first off JC P E N N Y in quote. We're going to type in site, colon, and like I said in my previous videos, try.gov, .edu, you can do .com, you could do an explicit domain, um, whatever you want, and you'll get certain results, okay? So save time, I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the results that I came up with. And I will go ahead and place these, um, some of these URLs in my description. All right. So let's get into it. So first off, <laughs> we got a Supreme Court case out of Ohio. All right. Let's see what it has here. Supreme Court case. Kimberly also quit her job at J.C. Penney's P-E-N-N-Y apostrophe S around the same time. All right. So there's three instances where it's spelled J-C-P-E-N-N-Y, all right? NASA.gov, all right? We have one instance where it shows on a regional webcast that was broadcast the week, week 6, April 7, 2011 through April 8, 2011, it shows a sponsor being J-C-P-E-N-N-Y, J-C-P-E-N-N-Y. All right, we also have this report that uh, came from uh, the USDA. Right there. It lists JCPenney as a corporate sponsor, someone that's a support in this, this, this uh, project. JCPenney Corporate Headquarters in Dallas, Texas provided an overview of JCPenney donor support for community and youth development and a tour of Corporate Headquarters and Museum. 
daycare center, health and fitness center, so on and so forth. Again, you can see USAID.gov. We have the SEC, small print, but I found it. All right. Not only does it list JC space penny, but also jcpenny.com. Here we have a Washington uh, court opinion. This is unpublished, but it's on their website. And I'll post a link there as well where it says J.C. Penney, official court document. Then I found a, a CNN. Um, this is a, a website that was from August. August 2010 and CNN Money in which it talks about JCPenney and Nordstrom reported mediocre sales JCPenney here we have the NASDAQ NASDAQ.com now we're dealing with money here right what's it say JCPenney big and bold JCP versus Macy's which is a better retail stock Again, J.C. Penny. J.C. Penny. J.C. Penny. Oh, we we got they spelled it right that time. Now here's one from the Nasdaq as well. And you say, okay, why are you showing me this one? It's spelled incorrectly. Well, what's funny about this is when you scroll down for their logo down here, what does it have for their image source? <laughs> JCPenney.com. Why wouldn't it be JCPenney.com? <laughs> All right, let's drive on. We got the Government Publishing Office, which is a great resource. This is a, a uh, court case that got dismissed. Okay, but this is a court case between Ahmed and J.C. Penney. And here we have party names, J.C. Penney Corp, Inc. as a defendant, J.C. Penney defendant, and then you have Ahmed as a plaintiff, and then a Mr. John McClellan. November 7th. Driving on. This is in regards to the Patent Act, Finding Effective Solutions to Address Abuse of Patent Practices, in which we have the witness from the J.C. Penney Corporation, Inc., Plano, Texas, and Miss Diane Letlier. All right, another court case. Uh, this is a case here. Let's do a search. J.C. Penney account statement. J.C. Penney. Let's keep moving. We got an assembly bill, okay? We got an assembly bill. Assembly Committee on Business and Professions. J.C. Penney Optical U.S. Vision. These are listed as, I want to say, uh, sub registered supporters. Okay. Then we have a Senate bill. SB 836. Again, register support, J.C. Penney. This is a state Senate bill. All right, South Coast Air Quality Management District rules and regulations. Let's drive on. All right, we have, this is from the city of San Antonio. San Antonio was trying to put a provision and some type of campaign in regards to implementing a plastic bag use reduction and recycling program. And no less than three times, J.C. Penney. J.C. Penney. J.C. Penney. But if all that wasn't enough, uh, I actually decided to 
look for other cases where J.C. Penney was brought up. And I found a congressional record. All right. Con congressional record, volume 156, number 66, Wednesday, May 5th, 2010. All right. This is published through the government publishing office, the GPO.gov. All right. This is giving a background on James Cash Penny, the founder of J.C. Penny. All right. And it states, Madam Speaker, when James Cash Penny opened his first dry goods store in 1902 in Wyoming, he called it the Golden Rule because he believed that if he provided quality goods at a fair price and treated people the way he wanted to be treated, his business would be successful. In 1909, Mr. Penny opened the headquarters for J.C. Penny Company, Inc. in Salt Lake City, Utah. A year later, he opened the Price, Utah, J.C. Penny store located in the second district of Utah, which I represent, J.C. Penny, as being the price J.C. Penny store is the oldest in Utah. All right. But let's go a little bit deeper. All right. So this is from the National Park Service, where they actually honor J.C. Penny. And they have an entire lesson plan. Visit the new online lesson plan from Teaching with Historic Places to American Entrepreneurs, Madam C.J. Walker and J.C. Penny. All right. It talks about the history of James Cash Penny's business venture, the Golden Rule Store, a dry goods business that grew into the J.C. Penny Company. J.C. Penney. That's from the National Park Service. .gov. So, I thought I was done. Okay? I thought, Lord, you blessed me to find this information. This is amazing. This is awesome. You know, we're not crazy. There's proof. There's evidence. Those that have ears to hear and eyes to see will know the truth. The Holy Spirit will confirm this. You are not crazy. Okay? The Lord went a step further. He actually had me do a Google search for J.C. Penny on the actual J.C. website. Unbelievable! This is what came up. This is the actual jcpenay.com website. I did a search for J.C. Penny, and look what I found. On the jcpenay.com website, we have shop J.C. Penny's skater collection. We also have here visit J.C. Penny for the best lightweight luggage. Let's keep going. You can see. No tricks. JCPenney.com. Okay. Here again. At JCPenney. We have bangles, necklaces, earrings, and other teen jewelry. JCPenney. And then I found two actual melon rebates. Again, this is JCPenney.com. And what does it have on the actual rebate? Right there. Ballot only on Mr. Coffee Coffee Maker models purchased at JCPenney and JCPenney.com. If it wasn't bad enough, they said JCPenney. They did JCPenney and JCPenney.com. The truth will always be revealed. It will always expose itself. Even on the actual JCPenney.com. We have another mail-in rebate I was able to find. Uh, the words J.C. Penny again on the actual J.C. Penny website, and uh, what's funny is it's in the fine print. Valid only on models listed above. Purchased at J.C. Penny, restricted, or J.C. Penny.com from November 27, 2014 to November 
27, 2014. All right. That's that's funny. But I thought I was done. I thought, okay, whatever skeptics might have remained. I mean, I then showed you on the actual J.C. Penney website the name J.C. Penney. The Lord said, go to LinkedIn. Look what I found. Look what I found. There are over 2,224 professionals that apparently don't know where they work because they all have themselves working at JC Penny. We have a store manager. This is a LinkedIn profile. LinkedIn.com forward slash title forward slash JC Penny. 2,224 professionals, okay, have themselves working at JC, senior net developer at JC Penny. These folks work at JC Penny. Recruiting manager at JC Penny Supply Chain. Specialist at JC Penny at Florida Mall. You can clearly see. Manager Sephora inside JC Penny. So again, for those of you that have eyes to clearly see and ears to clearly hear, you can see that the Lord will not be mocked. The devil, CERN, the Luciferians, the Satanists can go ahead and, and play around all they want. They could try to life hack all they want and try to play with our minds and emotions. But you know what? The Lord will not be mocked. He will have his day. He still sits on the throne. He's in control. Trust in the Lord Christ Jesus. Unbelievable. God is good. So, with that, I'm going to go ahead and close. First John 1, verse 6 through 9. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. The bottom line, folks, is that if you have backslidden, if you've fallen away from God, if you're atheist or you're agnostic, you're on the fence trying to figure out what's going on in this reality, in this world, trust in the Lord Christ Jesus. Trust in the Lord Christ Jesus. Turn away from your sins, confess your sins, and receive the life, the love, the freedom in Christ Jesus. There's, there's not much more to say. I love you guys. I um, I plan on delving into the word. If you guys have any other Mandela effects you want me to look up and research, shoot me a uh, email or Google Plus or um, just a YouTube message. And if the Lord leads me to it, I'll, I'll see what I can do to research for you guys. Uh, but I'm trying to uh, drive deeper into getting into the scriptures and the changes there and uh, to do some Bible studies and, and uh, do some testimony. So, many blessings. Um, also, you know, before I go here, any of you pastors out there, any of you ministers of the gospel, any minister, ministers, you see the Mandela effect happening. You see these changes, whatever you want to call it. You want to call it the effect, the quantum effect, the CERN effect, the Mandela effect, whatever you want to call it. You have an obligation to speak to your congregation. You have an obligation to speak to the truth of these changes because this is a prime sign that we are living in the final, final moments of time, of all time. Warn people. I don't care if you have to get on the street with a sign. Let people know that the Lord is coming. His judgment is about to be poured out on this earth. It's time to repent. It's time to forgive. It's time to let go of all bitterness and anger and strife and unbelief and trust in the Lord Christ Jesus. All right. 
Until next time, be blessed. <laughs>